Hey there everybody. So in today's video, I'm gonna go over how to use PHP Fast Page Manager and how to set it up correctly. Uh, some of my other videos, I talk about optimizing WordPress and things like that. And while this video will absolutely apply to that, this video also will help folks who maybe are not using WordPress but are using things like Nextcloud and some other open source software for your home lab that that utilizes PHP in the background. And at the end of the day, honestly, if you're just using stock PHP and you're not editing any of the configuration settings or anything, you're probably not getting the most out of it. And at the end of the day, we all want our servers to be fast and efficient. So today's video is gonna be going over how to set up PHP Fast Page Manager on Apache. So let's get started. So the first thing that I need to do, I am on effectively an empty Ubuntu 2204 server. Uh, there's really nothing on it. And so for me, I need to install Apache. So sudo app install Apache 2. Yep. And then we're going to sudo system control start apache2 and then we're going to sudo system control enable apache2 so now what we need to do is we need to install php and php fast page manager so sudo apt install pi oh i'm sorry software properties common and then after that we are actually going to add a repository that is probably the best PHP repository to use um, it is updated more frequently and has more packages available than the normal Ubuntu repositories so we're going to sudo add apt repository and we're going to do ppa colon on dredge slash php. So sudo add apt repository ppa on dredge php in sudo apt install php 8.2 and php 8.2 fpm. So this is actually going to install both php and php 8.2 fast page manager. sudo system control start php 8.2 fpm. And we're going to sudo system control enable php 8.2 fpm. This ensures that whenever your, if your server stops for any reason, uh, when it comes back online, it will automatically start these services for you. Now is a good time where if you want to install additional PHP packages, uh, this is when we'll do it. And I'm going to list out a bunch of very common PHP packages. Uh, if you need them, definitely do this. If you don't need them or if you need different packages, make sure to do those. Put in all these we've got sudo apt install php we're going to add curl gd mb string xml xml rpc soap intl and zip this is probably the packages that you're going to want and need if you're using wordpress um, another one php i magic is really useful if you are using php uh, in association with image magic Let's do some double checking and let's make sure that Apache is going. So 1921.168.37 for me is where my Apache server is running. And you'll see that hooray, Apache 2 is in fact up and running. So awesome. So Apache 2 works. Now what we are going to do is we are going to cd. We're actually going to create a file. Inside of here, we are going to sudo touch info.php. So now we're going to create a PHP file. Let's 
and we're going to nano into it. And from here, all we are going to do is create something that tells us what is actually going on with PHP. And to do that, you just make this very simple file. And this will display PHP's information. You'll see that PHP doesn't actually seem to be working. Uh, if we go to our PHP file on our server, it's actually just displaying it as HTML or straight text. So we need to reconfigure Apache to, to use our PHP FPM. So we're going to sudo a2n mod proxy underscore fast CGI and also enable proxy. And we're going to enable Apache sites to utilize uh, PHP fast CGI. So what we need to do is we're going to go to Etsy, Apache 2, sites available. Inside of here, since I just installed Apache, if we look, all we have is the default. And for me, that's going to be fine. But if you have different virtual hosts, you will want to edit those appropriately. So let's edit the default file. And I'm going to clean this up and I'll be back in one second when it's all cleaned up. Here's kind of where the magic comes with PHP. So we are going to input this. And what this does with Apache is this says that for any files that have a PHP ending, we are going to handle them by proxying this fast page manager and fast CGI. So we'll save that. We're going to reload Apache 2. And then let's take a look and see if info PHP is working now. Ah, now that it is. And you'll see inside of PHP, we're using version 8.2.11, the server API right here, fast page manager, fast CGI. This is a significantly faster version of PHP than just using PHP 8.2 by itself. I have never had any problems where some piece of software required PHP 8.1 but would not run on 8.1-FPM or something like that. So as far as I know, FPM, if you're using PHP, using Fast Page Manager is the way that you should do it. It's just simply more performant. and. To the trained eye, you may start looking down and seeing like, oh, there's a bunch of things in here. And you may not know what all this is, but effectively these are different PHP packages and things like that that are up and running. And you'll see I installed Image Magic. Uh, here's the PHP Image Magic. Um, but we are not quite done yet. Now that we have PHP, we should go and edit the configurations to do things that make a lot more sense. One of the first things we're gonna do is install memcached. So sudo apt install mem, memcached and lib memcached-tools and php-memcached. Let's reload Apache 2 and now let's take a look at our info PHP. Aha! We now have memcached. Memcached was not in there previously. And you'll see that memcached is up and running. And if we want to check that, we can also uh, do memcached dash dash version. For Ubuntu and Apache 2, uh, memcached config ends up living in Whoops. 
It's in the Etsy folder and it's literally right inside memcache.conf. So pseudo nano slash Etsy slash memcache.conf. And inside of here, there actually isn't a whole lot that you need to do, but this dash M space 64, this is the amount of memory that memcached is going to use. And if you have a server that has four or eight gigs of RAM, there's nothing wrong with giving memcached a much bigger pool of data. I'm gonna give it 512 megabytes. That's a pretty good cache size. You could even give it 1024 and give it a full gigabyte of cache. And again, it's only going to help improve performance. We'll save that. And then what we need to do is we need to go to CD, Etsy, PHP, 8.2. So inside of CD of Etsy, PHP, 8.2, let's take a look. So we've got FPM. So we're in a CD into FPM. Look inside of here, and we've got a php.ini file. And we're going to edit this INI file because this is something that a lot of people forget to do. So we're going to go through it and we're going to look at a couple different things. The post max size. Right now it's at eight megabytes. Just go ahead and up it to 128. Generally speaking, you shouldn't need to up it quite this much, but if you go to install a really heavy WordPress theme or something along those lines, you actually might need to up it that much. And at the end of the day, it shouldn't really affect things because you're not gonna use it all that much. It's just when you effectively want to upload something that's really large, it might need a good bit of space. And that is often the problem that people run into. Upload max file size. We're gonna up that to 128 megabytes. You can leave max file uploads set to 20. There's probably not a good reason to have it set much differently. Something that people don't tend to mention a lot is this Zend extension OP cache. This is automatically included with PHP, but you should edit it whenever you install PHP. We're just going to go down and get to that OP cache section. You'll notice all these pieces in green, these are uh, PHP extensions. I'm gonna go over the OP cache settings that I like to use. The first thing is to put OP cache enabled equals one. Uh, if there happens to be a semicolon in front of it, you will need to delete that out. Also, set OP cache memory consumption to 512. My server has eight gigs of RAM, so 512 of memory is not that big of a deal. Update the OP cache in turn strings buffer to 64. Also, update OP cache max accelerated files. I'm going to put in there 100,000 files. This can go all the way up to 1 million. Uh, you can also use 150,000. It's entirely fine. It kind of depends on how many different applications you are using PHP on your server. If you're only using one or two, then probably 50 or 100,000 are fine. If you're using quite a few, then 150,000 is probably a better setting. The OP cache max wasted percentage. Set this to 15. OP cache validate timestamps. You can set this to one. If you have, if you're running WordPress and have plugins installed, you will probably need to set this to one. The OP cache revalidate frequency. Zero sets it as always validate. One sets it to validate once a second. A reasonable setting is actually 60. It means that OP cache is not just constantly churning. Those are all the changes you'll need to make in the PHP INI file. Exit out of that. 
then reload the PHP 8.2 FPM service. Go ahead, validate the PHP is still running and nothing is broken. Looks like everything's good. And that is how that you set up PHP FPM, enable memcached, optimize memcache, enable OP cache and optimize OP cache. Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope that this helped out to enable PHP Fast Page Manager, optimizing and installing memcached and OP cache. These are some of the absolute most crucial pieces to optimizing any PHP application to run significantly better. Again, thank you for watching the video. If you have any comments or questions, my YouTube channel is just starting out, so likes, comments, subscribes are always welcome and appreciated. Again, thank you very much for your time.